Vice President Mike Pence says we could be just days away from getting a coronavirus vaccine approved. But as the virus intensifies, employers are pulling back on hiring. Presumptive President-elect Joe Biden calls it bad news as President Donald Trump continues to challenge the election results. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, the virus has been shattering daily records for confirmed infections. Millions of people remain out of work. But tonight, arriving soon, a reason for hope. We're in a challenging time in the course of this pandemic. Vice President Mike Pence updates the nation on vaccine progress. To be as we are, maybe, Bob, just a week and a half away uh, from what will be the likely approval of the first coronavirus uh, vaccine for the American people is, is inspiring the people of this country. The vice president also spoke of faith. But we're also in a season of hope. This time of year is always filled with hope uh, through faith traditions and in the hearts of the American people. On Inauguration Day, presumptive president-elect Joe Biden will make this request. I'm going to ask the public for 100 days to mask. Just 100 days. Meanwhile, jobs. America's employers adding 245,000 jobs in November, the fewest since April. Joe Biden said, this is a grim jobs report. And I'm encouraged by the bipartisan efforts in the Senate around a $900 billion relief package. White House economic advisor Larry Kudlow said today he knows there's hardship, but reinforced the positive. I will also argue the economy has registered a very strong comeback from the uh, peak of the pandemic contraction, uh, including today's jobs numbers with a 6.7 percent unemployment rate. And President Donald Trump rallying tomorrow in Georgia tweeted today rigged election. Attorney General Bill Barr earlier said there is no evidence of widespread fraud. But political science professor Paul Kengor tells us President Trump is right to question mail-in ballots. The opportunities for fraud and abuse and manipulation here are just legion. Also tonight, I want to tell you about a World War II veteran from Alabama. His name is Major Wooten. He had COVID-19, went to the hospital, and has since been released. He's a big Alabama football fan. And by the way, he just turned 104 years old. Tracy. Well, God bless, and thank you for sharing that with us, Owen. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reporting for us tonight.